exciting is it to have managed to get back to the Olympics after changing feet, after all the things you've been through personally, and the injuries, everything else, just how rewarding is it to have met that goal? Uh, very rewarding. Uh, a lot of people spend their lifetime trying to make just one Olympics, and to be able to come back. After switching legs, switching coaches, I'm going through a multitude of things, it feels phenomenal to know that I achieved a, a repeat of my life dream. There had to be times you doubted the possibility of pulling this off. Oh yeah, <laughs> there were days where I basically wanted to quit, you know, days where um, my ankle just didn't feel right, you know, nothing felt right and, you know, I got injured with the quad and it just seemed like it was downhill and, and I was like, well, I'm an occupational therapist, at least I have that, but then there were also other days where I had a really good practice, a really good day, a really good competition, and I felt like, no, I can do this. And so I think it was a balance between the ups and downs that kind of kept me going. I was going to say, what was the main thing that kept you going through those low times? Um, I think knowing that I had it in me. I feel deeply in my heart that I have a, a PR. I felt like I feel and still feel that way and, and nothing has changed, you know, to know that you've got something in there and you just have to dig deep to get it makes you want to work hard for it. You still feel you can go further off your right foot than you ever did off your left? I do. I feel like I can get a, a personal record and um, I'm hoping that it comes at the right time, which is at the Olympics on the final day. How, uh, you have a history of being able to pull out critical jumps when you need it. <laughs> Last jump at the trials to yeah. get into the games. Mm -hmm. What is it about those moments that just bring out the best in Janae? Um, I guess you could say that sometimes you you just want it so bad. And I think I can speak on behalf of almost everybody. Sometimes you can do miraculous things when you're under pressure. And I was under pressure, under a lot of pressure. It was either do a big jump or go home wishing that you had tried harder. So I, I went out there, you know, on my last jump and, and like maybe times before and did the best that I could and that's all I can ask of myself. Is this the first real jumping you've done on the bad ankle since the trials? I've done some short approach jumping, so where there's not as much speed, you know, so it's less impact on the takeoff. So this is the first time, and it's it's pretty ugly today, but I think that this is something that I needed now to get it out of the way so that come competition time, I should be feeling pretty good. That competition's two weeks away. Yep. Can Janae Deloach win another Olympic medal? You know, we're going for it. You know, it's either go big or go home. If I'm not going for a gold, I might not even medal at all.